Schizandra really is one of the most complete tonic herbal medicines that exists. There's really not much that it doesn't do, to be honest. Uh, it's ranked right up there with the royalty of the tonic herbal kingdom alongside, you know, reishi mushroom, ginseng, rhodiola, goji berry, and Shen Nong actually wrote about Shizandra in his classic uh, herbal pharmacopoeia that he wrote around about 2,000 years ago. And he said, even back then, that it was one of the most superior herbs that exist. Really one of the select few best, most potent and broad spectrum tonic adaptogens that we have in the whole world. Now Shizandra is known as the fruit with five flavours, simply because it really offers us the full spectrum of palatable possibilities because it's sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and pungent or spicy. And it's been believed for thousands of years now that these five flavours directly correlate to and feed into and nourish the five primordial elements that really constitute reality, really the, the fabric of creation. Now in Chinese cosmology these five elements are wood, earth, fire, metal, and water. In Tibetan cosmology it's earth, water, fire, air, and space. But either way, when these five elements are in a dynamic state of balance within us, we can experience really vibrant health. We actually experience that, that kind of balance where disease is unable to manifest, and actually our mental and emotional states are very, very stable, very balanced, very open. And so when we can actually nourish all five elements and bring them into a dynamic state of balance, it really opens the gateway for us to actually make some genuine progress on the spiritual path. Now conversely, when these five elements are not in a, in a state of equilibrium, and some are more dominant than others, or some are depleted, deficient, or they're just in a state of chaos, that really allows disease conditions to arise and to manifest and we can find, you know, mentally and emotionally, we're just, we're in a big mess. Um, now these five elements, they're not exclusive to our bodies and our minds. I mean, it, it's all creation. This, this philosophy, this idea is that absolutely everything within reality is made up primordially at its foundation level of these five elements. So we can look at the world around us, the external environment, and we can see that, you know, on close examination, it's very easy to see these five elements present in everything, and we can see as well when, when these elements are in a dynamic state of balance in the external environment, we see thriving ecosystems, you know, we see balanced ecosystems, we see ecosystems that are evolving, we see climax ecosystems. However, all too often the case now all over the world, we see that when these elements are not in a state of balance, we've got pollution, we've got toxicity, we've got all kinds of disease, we've got extinctions, you know, at an alarming rate. So bringing the elements into a state of balance is a very, very key element in some very ancient spiritual practices and health practices and really the point in this discussion being that Shizandra does nourish, nurture, and really feed into all of these five elements within us. And because it works directly with the five elements in this way, it actually deeply nourishes all five primary organ systems within the body, which are the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, the spleen, and the heart, all five of which are again directly related to the five elements. Now, Shizandra also possesses the ability to open up and dilate all 12 of the main meridians within the body, so it's actually allowing that, that vital force, that, that essence, that energetic force, that, that chi, that prana, that ki, or that lung, whatever you want to call it, that vital energetic essence can actually travel through all of the energy channels within the body much more freely with much less obstruction. And when we can actually feel that within us, you know, we can experience such a, a profound difference 
improvement and enhancement to our health and mental state just from that alone. So from a Taoist perspective, as would be expected, Shizandra is a three treasure tonic, so it deeply nourishes our Jing, which is our foundational, fundamental life force essence. It nourishes our Qi, which is the animation and the activity of that essence, and it nourishes our spiritual capacity or our ability to actually make progress spiritually. So you know, just from what we've covered so far, just purely from an energetic perspective, it's so easy to see how Shizandra is really one of the most well-rounded and balanced herbs in existence. Now, from a more Western, slightly more scientific perspective, Shizandra is ranked as one of the greatest adaptogenic herbs in the world. So it's basically helping us to deal with all different kinds of stress. It's helping us to respond to stress and allowing us to not be so affected by stress, to, for stress to not have such a long-term debilitating impact on us. And this is all kinds of stress. This is physical, mental, emotional, environmental, social, whatever you want to call it. All different kinds of stress. Because Shizandra is actually helping us to balance the activity of the central nervous system. It can actually stimulate it or depress it depending on our own individual circumstances. So it's always working towards bringing us and our situation into a state of equilibrium, into a state of balance. Now, Shizandra is very, very good for enhancing both short and long-term memory. It's very, very good at increasing our focus and our concentration, and it's very effective at helping us remain calm and grounded in any kind of anxious, turbulent situation that we might be in. So it's very, very good at helping us manage the stresses of anxiety and depression and these kind of things. And, you know, because of its uh, thousands of years of recorded use as a Shen tonic, as a spirit tonic, that actually shows quite a lot, in my opinion, how Shizandra actually has the ability to work directly on the heart and actually open up the heart because in many ancient spiritual traditions and medicinal practices in ancient cultures as well the heart is believed to be the primary seat of our consciousness where we experience an open mind from, you know, where we experience benevolent and altruistic thoughts and feelings from, so Actually being able to open the heart really allows the consciousness to expand. Shizandra is also one of the top shelf liver tonics alongside superstar herbs like reishi mushroom because it's very hepato-protective. So it's protecting the liver against harmful chemical exposure and radiation exposure. It also stimulates the regeneration of liver cells. And it offers both stage 1 and stage 2 detoxification capacity. So it can really liberate unneeded and potentially toxic substances from the liver. But unlike almost all other liver cleansing substances, it doesn't just dump these toxins into the bloodstream so that they can be reabsorbed elsewhere in the body or back into the liver again. It actually performs stage 2 detoxification by escorting these toxins from the bloodstream towards the elimination channel so that they can be safely excreted. And this is really, really important because, like I said, a lot of the detox herbs and supplements that are out on the market only perform stage one of this process, which is why some of them can actually be quite dangerous and why so many people do tend to feel, at times, unnecessarily overwhelmed by sickness and just feeling like shit when they're embarking on some kind of detox regimen because, you know, either they haven't prepared properly beforehand or what is likely in most cases is that they just do not have this kind of stage two strategy in place which Shizandra offers to us. So as a kidney jing tonic, Shizandra is replenishing our most vital essence which is helping us to build a much stronger foundation for our increased health and longevity and reproductive power as well. Now, it's been used as a libido enhancer for both men and women for an extremely long time. It increases semen production in men, it enhances sexual fluid production in women, and it's 
conversely actually very, very astringent, which uh, for men can often mean long-term use of schizandra actually allows them to inhibit semen release until the appropriate time. So that actually makes uh, or provides men with potentially a lot more staying power in the bedroom. And in Tibetan medicine, the ears are considered to be the flowers of the kidneys. And schizandra is actually very, very good for improving hearing and ear health in general. So this, really all of this, is a direct result of schizandra's ability to nourish the kidneys and the adrenals, because this is where that jing essence resides in the body. This is where it's housed within that kidney adrenal system. So the astringency of schizandra is actually one of the reasons why it's got such a long-standing reputation as an amazing skin tonifier and a beauty herb, because the astringency actually locks in a lot of that vital moisture within the skin and makes the skin more plump and more pliable and softer and smoother and also, you know, the liver tonifying capacity of schizandra is and that detoxification that goes with that is going to contribute a lot to why it's so good for the skin. The very high antioxidant content is also going to protect the skin from harmful ultraviolet radiation. So, you know, the wealthy elite of China for thousands of years were investing a lot of time and a lot of money in schizandra for exactly this beautifying purpose. It can also improve eyesight by enlarging the field of vision and increasing our capacity to see in a wide variety of different lighting conditions. As a lung tonic or a respiratory tonic, it actually can increase our lung capacity, enhance oxygen absorption and utilization. It's also a very powerful anti-inflammatory herb and an expectorant as well. So it's a very good anti-asthmatic uh, herb for you know all of those kind of respiratory conditions. Schizandra works really really well, and because it's such a mind stabilizing herb, it's very calming and soothing to the mind and the nervous system. Uh, that is obviously very closely tied into our breathing and any respiratory conditions we have are always exacerbated when we get stressed. So schizandra actually nourishes the lung system and enhances our breathing capacity uh, from that mental and emotional standpoint as well. So a number of studies have quite conclusively illustrated that schizandra really enhances athletic performance a lot because not only is it increasing lung capacity and oxygen absorption but it actually directly elevates cortisol and nitric oxide while we're exercising and then uh, rather quickly and smoothly decreases them once we've stopped exercising. So it's actually enhancing our athletic performance and our ability to work out or to, to just do physical work. And then it's actually really significantly enhancing our ability to recover from that workout or that exercise or that manual labor or whatever it is. So Shizandra can actually make us more able to work, more efficient at work. It can help us to exercise more. It can help us to rest more. It can help us to be calm and grounded and centered. It can help us to sleep. It can help us to detox. And because it's such a powerful Shen tonic, it can actually open the mind and expand the consciousness and support us in our spiritual journey and actually attaining any kind of spiritual realization. So, you know, it's truly a profound herbal substance that affects just about every single level of our health, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So there's a number of different types of schizandra that grow throughout China and Tibet and elsewhere. Um, from species to species, there is a bit of variation in the way that they behave herbally, but there is a general theme where they possess you know, very similar attributes and they behave in very similar ways. But I guess really what I'm referring to mostly in this video is the most common form of schizandra that you'll find, which is schizandra chinensis. Now, you can get that either wild or cultivated. Wild is always going to be better. Uh, but if you get cultivated, there can be a lot of uh, variety in the grading. Some of it can be really good, some of it really crap. So 
uh, you want to be really careful and selective with what you buy. If you can get it certified organic, then you know that's always going to be a winner. Uh, but wild is generally speaking always going to be best. Now, uh, there's a lot more really that could be said about Shizandra. It's you know this is really just an introduction to some of what it can offer. But I think really just from what we've covered in this video, it's clear to see that Shizandra is truly one of the most complete and balanced and well-rounded herbal substances that is well suited to pretty much everybody.